All right, guys, so I have Blender here. Um, I have my tablet. We are going to be 3D modeling, so I don't need my stylus for sculpting or anything like that. Um, we're just going to go straight to 3D modeling. All right, so we're going to start in three, two. These are always so nerve wracking. Three, two, one, and go. All right, so delete that, delete that. We're going to give this that. Um, I'm going to go here to, I'm going to move my face for a second. I'm going to apply that. And we are going to go press N, um, edit, we're going to do auto mirror on the X, makes life so much easier, remove that, uh, shoot, um, first I'm going to do is maybe get rid of these, so I'm going to press Alt Z, so I get rid of all of these, shift select these, um, yeah, I'll get rid of that. And now, you know what? No, maybe just these. It's vertices that need to be taken out, right? No, nope. I'm taking too much time. All right, you know what? I'll just go with this for now. I'm going to take this. We're going to press Alt-Z, then O. There, um, and take these. Press. Oh no, not you. I'll take out that. Take these. Oh my God, this is so stressful. All right. Um. I have no idea what kind of helmet I'm doing, so um, we'll just fix that later. All right, cool. Um, let's go with this right here. I'm gonna press B for that. Uh, maybe add these inset. Um, there, we're going to take these and we're going to press inset again. And we're just going to do that. Maybe add a loop cut here and then take these. Whoa. And then inset. Oh, I totally forgot to put turn on my screencast, but that's okay. That's fine. We are ready here. <laughs> we're going to inset this as well. But what we're going to do is we're going to adjust this. If you guys haven't figured out yet, um, what my, what I saw just now for this, uh, put in the comments below. Like, what did, is, what's Nico doing? What is it? What is this shenanigans here? Oh my gosh. Why did I let you guys sucker me into this? Oh my gosh. Why did I do that? Whose idea was it to do this, you guys? Yes, um, this is looking more like a Power Ranger helmet now um so this need to be moved this this back here needs to be filled out so e oh, why is it doing that extrude down and we're gonna press f to fill E, screw down, and we're gonna fill that. And we're gonna take these and move it back, like so. Ah! Okay, five minutes have passed. Um, the shape here does not look right. So we're gonna take these, we're gonna press 
O again. And we're going to move that like so. No! Take these, move it forward, move these move forward some more, move these move back, move up. Turn that off. I really need to set that O key onto my keypad. Alright, that's the general shape. That looks a little long, so we're going to take all of these including that there maybe there um, maybe move it a little bit more like so now let's give this visor a better looking shape um, this right now is not printable yet, by the way. So what we can do is we can now add our move my face up here. That's probably better. Move that there. We're going to do a solidify modifier. And then just see how thick this is going to be. Whoa, that's too thick. Uh, that's good. All right, so there's that. <clears throat> um not sure how I like this back part. That back part got messed up. There. Move. Move that. God, this topology is absolutely atrocious. Okay. Um, let's change the shape of this visor. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, <laughs> that was totally by accident, actually. Maybe there. Let's bring these a little bit out here. We are going to have to... Um, separate the uh, visor from the helmet so that um, it can print and you guys can vacuum form it. Uh, let me know if you guys wanna, want me to add this to the repository in the membership, by the way. Uh, and then let's go ahead and give this ranger a name as well, if you guys want. I'm just shaping this guy's face at this point. Maybe I shouldn't have done the inset yet. Um, eh, maybe these ones? No, I don't know how I feel about those. Oh my god, I only have two minutes left. All right, let's do. <laughs> All right, let's do this. <laughs> He's got horns. Oh, you know what? Here's what we should do. Let's do this. A Batman Power Ranger. <laughs> ah! Why? You know what? Because why not? Okay. Oh my god, 52 seconds left? Holy cow. Um. 30 seconds. Ah! Uh, we can maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Take these and bevel. 
maybe extrude that down. I don't know, 18 seconds left. Okay, there you go, there's some eyes right there. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ah! <laughs> uh, so, we, <laughs> we made uh, some sort of Power Ranger. Right, you can make that. You can definitely go with Batman. I think subconsciously, I saw this shape and I was like, you know what, Batman. Right. Um, let me take a sip of my coffee here, as if I wasn't, you know, anxious enough. Oh my gosh, I don't know how Infenzia does this. Like he has a whole bunch of these too, and he makes just the craziest stuff. Um. So anyway, let's take a look at this. Uh, I kind of like the shape of the back here. Something about it um, kind of makes it cool. But what we do want to do is uh, fix this. Um, you got a little floating thing there. I don't know what the hell that is. Oh, you know what? That's from the Solidify modifier. So uh, what we can do is we can actually not do that yet. Okay. Um, and we can add the solidify modifier before, even before we do the horns. Okay. So when we solidify this thing, that's what's going to make it 3D printable, right? And, um, where are we? We want even thickness and we want, yeah. I guess that's good right there, right? As long as it's not distorting a lot of our um, our geometry, okay? So I can actually go ahead and apply that solidify modifier, and then we can take this right here, and we can pull it out like so, okay? Now what we do want is to separate the visor right here right from uh, from the entire thing so you'd press P to separate from from the object uh, separate by selection and then you would go here you would apply your mirror and that's where everything is now obviously you don't want to um, export this excuse me to STL currently because if you do, you see all those squares and all those polygons, you, you are going to see those. You're going to see a lot of sharp edges and you'll be sanding for a while. So what we want to do is you're going to go to object mode and we want to add more polys to it. Um, there's an error that happened during the mirror uh, is what it looks like. Yep. There was an error with the mirror, so we have just to go back until that error. There it goes until it disappears. Okay, and then you probably just want to apply these. Okay, and you would see the um, the errors in there with the solidify. So there was a misstep that I had. Um, prior to so I probably would want to um, solidify the entire helmet first before doing the extrusions on the on the outer uh, outermost part um, and then uh, so solidify and then extrude the outermost parts uh, that way you don't you don't get those but um, in 10 minutes that doesn't that doesn't look half bad <laughs> So if Batman was a Power Ranger, I guess that's what he would look like. All right. Um, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. If you guys like this video, make sure you guys give me a comment and a like. Um, make sure you guys share this, everybody. And if, again, if you guys want me to teach you how to 3D model, make sure you join me in the workshop down in the link below. Catch you guys later. Peace.